ないで Does it smells of whiskey. <laughs> Daddy will be right in there. Does bubble smell of whiskey? Wow! <laughs> wow! Thanks a lot, Grayson. Bath City Farm today. It's the first day of Grayson's Easter holidays, so we thought we'd do something Eastery, and it's beautiful up here. I absolutely love it. Grayson's done some egg collecting from the chicken coop. Been looking at all the little animals, and yeah, it's just like the perfect Easter day out. Steph's in a bit of a mood today because the baby woke up last night at like four for the day, <laughs> so he's really tired and not coping too well. Just been laid, Grayson's <laughs> Grayson's um, collecting some eggs from the chicken coop. He's gonna bring some home for us. That's a lot of eggs, Grayson. Well, yeah. Nicest tasting eggs he's ever eaten in his life. You know they're still warm. I'm like, I want, I want to incubate them. <laughs> <laughs> Not myself. Oh. Look, he's finally woken up. We're going to take him up to see an animal now because you've never seen an animal apart from a cat, have you? He's so interested in the camera. <laughs> Are you waving? Can you see Mummy and Ruth? Yeah? Hey, Mummy and Rui. I love chickens. I love chickens. You what? You hate chickens, do you? No, you loved the chickens. You loved them. You, he yeah. was so excited. He's trying to be too cool. Food. He's trying to be too cool for school, isn't he? Yeah, I hate them. Cows are much more good because they lay milk. Cows are much more good because they lay milk. <laughs> Watch that! 
That's freaking me out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever woken up in such. And Max is filthy. Yeah, you were rolling down that muddy hill together, but it looked like so much fun. So Mummy didn't stop me. We are on a farm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever woken up in such a bad mood in my entire life. I don't think I've ever been around anyway, such a bad mood. I love getting muddy anyway. You love getting muddy. Hey. It's the, it's the great, great scene that we have. Is it? Good. Yeah, actually. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. First question. Are you secretly Batman? Yeah. Does Brexit mean Brexit? <laughs> What's your favourite knock knock joke? Uh knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? I want up. I want up who? Oh <laughs> Do you still like Wobbly Man? No. What makes you happy? Lego man. What makes you sad? Uh, not having a Lego man. Why are you so savage? Because I like chocolate. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Uh, a tiger. Why do we have to go to sleep every night? Because it's morning and then night time and then night time and then morning and night time morning and then night time and then morning night time morning night time morning. Do we regulate markets or do they regulate us? Regulate us. What's your favourite part of the day? Ah, uh, unscrewing chairs. Unscrewing chairs. Stop unscrewing that chair. What do your mum and dad do for a job? To do videos. Yeah, you got it. Do you have a girlfriend? Mummy. If you could rename Rufus, like if you could change his name to anything else in the world, what would you change it to? Uh. Proofus. Should I continue what I've always wanted to do as a freelance model maker despite the financial ups and downs or stop fanning around and get a proper job as an art teacher or something? I need your advice. Uh, get a proper job. Get a proper job. What's your favourite thing about Grandma? Uh, give me chocolate for pudding! What's the hardest thing about life? Uh, going to ski school. But what makes you the happiest? Uh, not going to ski school. Do you pick your nose? Yeah. Ugh. Do you have any advice for people? No. No? Well, thank you very much. You're finished now. We're done. So thanks for asking me all the questions. Thanks for asking all the questions. Yeah! He seems to have got the hang of it now. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Pardon you. We're going to go for a little walk soon, aren't we? Get some bread. Hopefully you'll have a nap. <gasps> Is it worth falling? Is it worth it? <laughs> Tom Rosenhall has asked me to do a music video for him. I might need to take some time off the vlogs to do it. Yeah. Can you do it for me? Can you do it? Yeah? Anyway, I'm going to give him a call and say I'm really scared. Hopefully I'll put my mind at ease. I am going to take Rufus to the shops to get some bread so that Grayson can have dippy egg for dinner. You're going to the shops? You're going to Tesco's, you lucky boy. We've already just been to Waitrose today, but Mummy forgot the bread. Oh, no. So now she's got to go to Tesco's Express and get some bread. So annoying. Yeah. It's 
crazy how big he's getting, isn't it? Um, Everything goes in your mouth, doesn't it? Everything. Um, Count on them, Ruby. No. Right, Miss Fair, you gonna go off with Mummy? Come on, Ruby. No. By the way, have you been stealing my wax strips? I had a couple of wax strips. Mm. Getting our dad hair, hair, hairy dad belly. Mm. Had to sort that right out. That's me. Mm. See if you did a good job or I not. I did a terrible job. And it's still sticky. Oh, yeah, you did do a really terrible yeah. job. I'll sort it out later. There you go. Right. Do you want anything from there? No, thank you. I'm fine. Celery, onion, bread. Celery, onion, bread. See you in a bit. Hey Siri, call Tom Rosenhall. Calling Tom Rosenthal. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Lucky you got a hood on bus. Yeah, it is lucky. Come on, let's go. Right, you ready? Let's bust the groove. We met our friend Rob and Kitty this weekend and they recommended this stuff to have before you work out. It's like a pre-workout drink. Tastes absolutely vile, but it is crazy what it does to you. God knows what's in it. It's like it's basically just MDMA. It's probably super bad for me, but. My performance on this stuff increases, I'd say, by about 40%. Can I smell it? Yeah, smell it. It smells all right. It just tastes. It smells nice. You think so? Mm. You better wash that. I'm not washing it. And look how many ingredients are in it. It's like a thousand oh different God. things. <laughs> Rue and I are going to Baby Sensory this morning. I'm really excited about taking him because I think he's going to really like it. He's just at that age now where he just wants to grab everything and touch everything. So I think he's gonna love it. Hannah and I have a rule when it comes to this channel. The rule is we don't agree to do anything that could potentially expose us to a new audience. And we do that for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is because we have spent a long time cultivating a certain type of community. Um, to a degree, we want to create our own little echo chamber here of people who really just have one similar character trait, that they're open-minded um, and they let us just be ourselves. And if we say the odd thing here and there that they don't agree with, they just, they just let us do it because they just know that we're just trying to be honest and not portray a consumer-friendly version of ourselves and try and show the real us. So exposing us to a new audience for the people that don't understand that is a dangerous thing. So we always decline any offers to ensure that we just keep things the way they are. When you are a creator, you have a choice where to cast your net, but you don't get the choice as to what you're gonna pull out when you do. We've just got home. Rufus absolutely loved that class. I think we might make it a more regular thing. He's completely zonked out now though, which is kind of good because it gives me a chance to make his lunch I'm doing a bit of batch cooking this afternoon and I'm baking him something called Lovely Lentils from the Annabelle Carmel Baby Puree book, which is the same one that I used for Grayson. Got my sweet potato, carrots, onions, lentils, obviously. But there's another reason, and that goes back to when I worked for a celebrity magazine in London for a few years. Uh, I saw 
when I was there, like the carousel in action. I saw how it all worked and how it would pluck these people from obscurity and it would offer them a deal. It would say, in exchange for your privacy, what we'll give you is a key to a, a whole new world that will give you something that you've always wanted. And that's a sense of, of value and purpose. And the people would be like, yeah, okay, give it to me, give it to me, whatever. But they, they were so frantically excited about getting that sense of value and being famous that they didn't read the contract. Because in the contract, it doesn't say how long you're gonna have the key for. So by the time their eyes adjusted to this whole new world of glitz and glam and sparkles, they were whisked back out and thrown back into the shadows and the key taken off them and the door slammed and locked and closed. And then you'd see how desperate these people would become to get back into that place. And they would do anything to get back there. They would sell their integrity, their dignity, anything that they could, that they could sell to get back into that place they would sell. They weren't in that world long enough to see it for what it is. It, it's, it's nothing. It's a, like a, a cardboard city built on a bedrock of, of narcissism. I've got a little kitchen helper. <laughs> We're gonna have some nice lunch well, you've woken up a little bit early, so you might have to wait for a bit. There's only one place that you can find value and purpose, and that's from within yourself. <laughs> and if you're not happy with yourself, then that's just something you need to work on. You need to understand who you are and then try and improve on that. Anyway, yeah, like I said, you can cast your net any way you like, but just remember you don't know what you're gonna pull out. Anyway, that's just my two bits. <laughs> you ready? Oh, that was a nice little duet there. You stink of coffee. I've had lots of coffee today. Hello, everyone. Thank you for Hello. getting to the end of the video. Another Hello. awkward outro time. <laughs> did you like doing your uh, Q&A session, Grayson? You hated it, did you? His character's really coming out now, which, um, which I love. And we're like closer than we've ever been, aren't we, Bubba? Yeah. You've got a hair in your nose. I know, I just tried to get that a minute ago. Do you want to leave it there? Leave that big hair in your nose. There you go. Let me get it. Let me get it then. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, we get. He's he's been awesome recently, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been really good. I was saying that when we were out today that mummy and daddy are very happy with you at the moment. Mm. You've been such a good boy. You're abs he's absolutely knackered right now because we've just spent the whole morning in soft places. So like. <laughs> yeah, and we're pretty tired because we had a five a.m. wake up call for the day. Rufus for the Which day. Is great. Yeah, so we're very zombie-ish right now. <laughs> Look what you just done, Dad! It's fine, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Have a lovely Easter, everybody, and enjoy whatever you're doing. Eat lots of chocolate. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. See ya, bye! You're going to be a movie critic one day, Grayson. No! I think you are. Do you know what that means? It means you get paid to watch movies and tell people if you like them or not. That would be a cool job, huh? You just want to watch Toy Story. Watch Toy Story.